Hey, 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 this is Kurt with the Boat Doctor out here at the beautiful bay. Uh, 2000, I believe, a 19 Smoker Craft 172 Osprey, top, sides, backdrop. Got the two uh, LED lights, one bow and one anchor. Got your swing tongue. Uh, you put a paddle lock on that, two inch ball, top mount coupler, uh, straight out. You got the flat four on the trailer wires. I used my adapter, you may want to do that. That goes from a seven to a five or four. You got the swing tongue. Uh, this is all welded hole. Very, these are very nice boats, very quiet, smooth. He added two cleats, does have the breeze cover right here. Uh, it's easy loader, double dip galvanized trailer. All the marker lights work, all the running lights work, brake light, tail light, five lug. Uh, these are ST8580R13s, uh, about 45 pounds. Uh, tire pressure is cold, it is leaf springs, so I got to change my book. Gear bath oil hood, uh, hubs, uh, brown good, white bad, that means you got probably a seal out. Uh, you got the little load guys in back, about three, four footers. Again, all the lights work, the ID light work, that's their drain plug, I'll put that back, a little step. This does have the reverse chine hole, that keeps it very stable, uh, very quiet, full of insulation, uh, flotation. You got a 13 by 17 right hand rotation. You got this F90, this is basically a 100 power head. Uh, all salt water protected, five uh, paint code process. You got like the special primer, clear, main paint. They got their special Get Smart paint on there. Uh, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, internal zinc, external zinc, torque fin, zinc. You got zinc down below, zinc on every cylinder, zinc on the block. Uh, there's your live well screen right there. You got your uh, Garmin transit mount. That's a clear view. Uh, the other hole there is your drain for your live well. Uh, this side over here, all the lights work. Gear bath oil looks good. Everything here looks good. Uh, it's got a single battery. You got your large 10 micron uh, Yamaha water separator. I would change that once a year no matter what and stick with the Yamaha. Don't go aftermarket. I did put 10 gallons of non-ethanol in here with Startron. Uh, so kind of stick with the Startron. It works good. Don't ever mix any stabilizers or additives. Uh, stick with one. And Yamaha has a heavier paper element. They do need to clean the back up. Gas fills in back. Uh, tie downs are in the boat as well as uh, the drain plug. And then in here, you got one pedestal or two pedestals but one bench and that's a fish box there so i got to look at my notes in there and then i'll go to the inside when i um in the boat but you do have your uh, volt gauge your tachometer your speedometer and your fuel gauge and it's got your uh, seven inch cv garmin uh tilt wheel very nice boat i'll go through that on the run out nice decal uh this is a, a good boat bang for the buck good for the bay river lakes maybe out in the jetty good for crabbing salmon fishing uh, so now we're going to head to the water.